that God is speaking to. The only way you can be set free from the stress and anxiety is not smoking a blunt. It's making peace with God. You have no peace. That's why you can't sleep. Many of these can't sleep. Many of these people can't sleep. They listen to music. They pop sleepy pills. They take, they take drugs. They drink a lot of these people. You know why? Oh, sad. It's sad because you have... You have no peace, you have no rest, there's no calmness. And it's not like yeah, you, you, you have to have distractions and sound and noise and anything to make you, to make you be able to live in your own skin. You can't live in your skin. Oh, you're a good actor. Good actress. Oh, you're not going to let anyone see your, your pain, your misery. But God sees that and he hears the broken heart you got to come before Jesus Christ to be real, transparent, lay bare. Say, God, here I am in my nothingness. You're nothingness. You're empty. You've got nothing to offer God or anyone. You know it. You know it. You come before God. Oh, it's the best place to be because God chooses the foolishness. The foolishness that he might bring wisdom to you. Oh, both of you are filled with demons. But many of these, many of these people that stand in line, they're full of demons too. They're sophisticated demons. They have money, money, money can hide the, the wounds and the scars. I have a question. How the fuck is him telling me that I'm nothing? Um, you know exactly. Look what that devil has done to you. Why did you allow that? Ah, the yes, devil's so nice and he's so kind and you want to serve Satan and hail Satan and worship Satan. And then look what Satan does to you. That is when you can finally meet Christ. Uh, look what Satan does to you. He runs over you, man. Train wreck. Oh, but you be to Jesus Christ, he'll set you free. Oh yeah. He'll clean you up. He'll deliver you from the legion of demons you have. You have a legion of demons. You know what? A legion is. Come out of him. Come out of him. In the name Set of him free. I am something. Jesus. He's the one who's nothing. In the name of He's the one who's nothing. Jesus. Many of you need to be delivered. <laughs> be delivered. Jesus Christ came. You're the one who's nothing. Oh, came to set the captives free. Why are you demons still hanging around here? Uh, why, are, why are you still hanging around here? <laughs> All the Bible says is an invisible realm. You made a spirit, soul, and body. All oh, that wicked spirit. All the evil imagination, all those cheeky and weird and strange things that float into your mind. You embrace them. You're still here because God is speaking to you. You're still here because you are going to be a vessel of God's mercy. Many about them that just try to ignore me, they're trying to ignore God. They're trying to ignore their conscience. They're vessels of destruction. Yeah, you gotta see your nothing. You gotta see nothing. No, no. I want you to get saved. I want you to get saved, delivered, set free. You're in bondage. You're stuck in the sixties. You need to get set free and come into the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God comes with this. The kingdom of God. Because you're gonna burn in hell. I don't want you to burn in hell. I want you to be delivered. You've been you've been blinded. You've been bewitched. You understand you're caught up in a lie. You've been deceived. I'm bringing you truth so that you will not believe the lie. No, God will not make you this way. Your choices. Your choices. No, it's not a joke. You sin against God. You sin against God. Would you go to hell? Wait, wait. I also have another question. Well, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not a joke, I'm a born-again Christian. If you are not a born-again Christian, hey, God bless you. You will not enter the kingdom of God. You're going to die, you're going to stand before God, you're going to be judged by the living God. And if Jesus Christ is not your Lord and Savior, if He is not the one that's washed away your sin, your guilt, if you do not have faith in Him, where you trust in Him, you obey Jesus Christ, you will spend eternity in hell. 
Has anybody told you? Has anybody told you? Has anybody told you about hellfire? Has anybody told you about damnation? Has anybody ever told you about being tormented and tortured for eternity? Did you not know there's life after death? What, you think it's just, you should do whatever you want? It's real. The Bible's real, it speaks. Holy Bible. Holy Bible speaks about a holy God. Holy God. No, this is a magic, man. This is truth. This truth will set you free. This truth. Holy Bible. Holy God. It's the Holy Spirit for you to live holy. It's all about holiness. Don't continue to live filthy. Don't be a lesbian. No, don't don't do it. Don't do that which is ungodly. No, don't don't try to be a seducer. Seductive. Oh no. No, do what is holy. Do what is righteous and good and pure. Oh, I said before you right here. Here it is. Life. Eternal life. Abundant life. Everlasting life. You can experience life today. You're not preaching love. Yes, you can walk with God. You can walk down that path that drips with abundance. You can walk down that path with the inheritance. I have an inheritance. I have a future. What you guys are, what you guys are doing God has prepared a place for me. Oh, the new heavens and earth. The righteousness is going to dwell. No more rebellion. No more violence. No more crime. No more drugs. No more prostitution. No more whores. No more disease. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful on that day when the wicked, the wicked are no more. On that day, the righteous are gonna see and fear. And then they can say, "Is this the man who made not God his strength and trusted in the abundance of his riches and strengthened himself in his wickedness?" That's you. You strengthen yourself in your wickedness, but you don't know on that day. On that day, the righteous are going to rejoice and receive the vengeance of God. They're going to wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. It's like you. It's like you living a, a life of rebellion against God. Hatred towards God. And you, you cut down my God. You, you blaspheme my God. That means you speak against the things of God and the ways of God. The holiness of God, the righteousness of God, the purity of God. You make God love as, as if love is, is the essence of everything. You worship love, but you don't see holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Amen. He's holy. It does not say love, love, love. Your love is perverted. Your love is sexual. Your love is demonic. Your love is a feeling. That's the love of God. There you go. Well, God has demonstrated his love. God has demonstrated his love. How did God demonstrate his love? Send his only son. He laid down his life. He laid down his life for just for the unjust. That he might deliver us unto God. That he would deliver us. Oh. Who's going to deliver you? How are you going to be delivered out of the kingdom of darkness, out of the devil's den? How are you going to be delivered out of hell fire, the lake of fire when you're tormented day and night, eternal pain and suffering? Forever. Forever. What do you think they stand up here? Did you go to church? Most of you go to church and you're going to hell. What do you think I stand up here? Because I get paid? I don't make any money standing up here. Born in the wicked, born in the ungodly. No, I have compassion. I look upon the multitudes that I see. They're on a broad road that leads to hell. I gotta do something. You're in danger. Danger. Hell fire. What do I say, America? You're blind. You don't see the wickedness? You don't see the, the promiscuity? You don't see what is happening before your eyes? You're going to stand before God. It's going to be too late. And when he hears, depart from me. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. No, God! No! I didn't mean that! You're going to be in hell! You think it's a joke. You think it's a joke. Not a joke. 
might be the last time you get to hear a preacher. This might be the last time. Just like God raised up Noah. He preached 120 years and eight people got saved. Eight! Eight! You know just easy believism. Oh, I go to church, I'm a Christian. You still indulge in alcohol. You still have sex out of marriage. Just a religious hypocrite. You're in danger. You worship your hair. You worship it. You know you do. I know what you worship. Women are so insecure, it's all over their continents. It's all over their back. True. I love women. I know you're perfect. Love one woman. Why? Because God said it. It's holy matrimony. Man and a woman. Two become one. Sacred and holy. I'm concerned about your soul, people. I hope tonight, or maybe today, I don't know when God's going to say it's it. It's over. I'm telling you, it's near. Wickedness is increasing. Selfishness is increasing. The love of many is increasing. Nobody trusts one another. There's more to sex. Oh, there's just so much hatred, anxiety, stress. There's so much pain. So much pizza. Because of wickedness. Wickedness. Wickedness is increasing and the end is there. And you don't see it. But I hope today, I hope to, I hope today you repent. Today is the day of salvation. You're not guaranteed to tonight, tomorrow. You don't know. The Son of Man comes in an hour that you do not expect. God speaking to you. If there is no God, you would be a civil man. Oh yeah, don't be a dirty old man. I'm telling you the truth. Jesus Christ is going to come. Make a peace in the night. If you're not ready, if you're not ready, you'll be in hell. I warned you. Repent, believe, and Jesus Christ will cleanse you from all of your unrighteousness.